In this sewing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Mother's Day card. I know, hey, making a Mother's Day card on a sewing machine. Something a little bit different. So I have a piece of cardstock. Obviously, I'm going to need a piece of cardstock for a card. And then I'm just going to fold it over and just create that card shape that we need. Now it's up to you if you want to make it landscape or portrait. I'm going to go with a portrait card. The next thing that we're going to need for this sewing tutorial is some fabric. So instead of going with a white, I'm going to go with this kind of coverly colour for my Mother's Day card. And I am going to use kind of like this mustard colour for the flower. And obviously I'm going to use some green for the leaf. And because we're thread painted in this sewing tutorial, you're going to need some form of stabilisation. So I'm just going to use some regular tear away stabiliser and I'm going to put that behind my main fabric, which is going to be that coral. I do my sewing area a little bit bigger than the card because I don't want it to be too, it to be too small because I want to be able to be sewing with this on my sewing machine. So I don't want it to be too tiny. So it's just a little bit bigger than the folded over card, as you can see. And then I'm just going to have my tear away stabiliser because when I go over to the sewing machine I want to have that stabilisation so I'm just going to have that floating just on top. It'll be right once I get started on the thread painting. Now I do want to do some flowers on my Mother's Day card and I am going to be using some heat and bond. Heat and bond has like this paper on one side and on the other side there's this glue. I love using this for any form of applique. I did two flowers freehand as you can see it really doesn't matter what they look like because you're really only going to see the outline so I just did the the middles as a guide for myself and just drew out some sort of flower shape. When working with your heat and bond make sure that you don't cut out the actual actual shape just yet keep it away from where you're going to be cutting it. Now I'm going to fix it onto the fabric now it's attached to the fabric like this, now you can actually cut around the shape. This prevents any further fraying of the fabric. And these are the shapes all cut out. And just to let you know that I create sewing tutorials every single week. I have nearly 300 videos. I get straight to the point. So if you like my tutorials, please hit that, hit that subscribe button. So on the back of these sections you can peel away and that will reveal the glue of the heat and bond and then you can adhere this to our Mother's Day card. I think it's placed where I want it so I'm just going to press. And that then attaches everything into place. For this Mother's Day card sewing project, we are going to get the sewing machine all set up for free motion quilting. I have to use this separate thread stand because I have a bigger spool of thread. And then once it gets to the top, it just gets threaded as usual. You're going to lower your feed dogs. So you're going to go to the back of the machine, you're going to drop them feed dogs. You're going to have a 9014 Microtex needle. And the machine is just set to a straight stitch. I mean, it really doesn't matter because we've lowered our feed dogs and we are now in control of moving that fabric. The one thing I want you to take away from this sewing tutorial is the messier it is, the better it looks. Also, when you're doing this, don't follow the lines. Go outside the lines, go inside the lines, go really messy. It's a scribbled effect look. And then I need to go inside and do that inside dot. So raise up your presser foot. Don't bother cutting it off. We're trying to save time. And then lower it back down. So you're basically doing like a jump stitch. 
and then just go around and then cut that jump stitch away so it's not in your way and start going around in a circle like to do that centre bit of that flower and then we'll go ahead and do the next flower exactly like we did this first one And just cut this out of the way so it just get doesn't get in your way and continue so I'm just going to do the stems and then we'll add the leaves So I did the same thing with the leaves, I did the heat and bond and then just did a little design on the leaf. On this sewing project I wanted about Happy Mother's Day so I'm going to do that using a friction pen. So I am just going to write Happy Mother's Day. The beauty about these pens is that they will iron off and trust me it needs to be negative more than 40 for these guys to come out, come back. I've I've tested it, I've tried it, this will not come back. So be careful that you don't press down because it will create a shadow. So make sure that you do it nice and light. And this is a nice and blue pen. So I'm just going to write Happy Mother's Day somewhere. So it's always best that you do this in cursive writing, joined up writing and then just follow what you've done. Like so. So now we want to cut it to the size of the actual Mother's Day card. I do like to leave a little bit of white showing on this sewing project, but what I do want to do is make this edge a little bit more decorative and I have my pink and shears here. They have like a zigzag edge to them. So I am just going to very closely follow the edge and give it a bit more of a decorative finish. If that tearaway stabilizer is just peeking through, you can always cut some of this back. It's up to you. Now we have to attach this to the card and I am simply just going to sew this into place. It's up to you, you can glue it, I'm just going to sew it. Now we're going to sew it into place, just the one thing to bear in mind, don't let it ripple and then just sew. Oh, we need to bring the feed dogs back up. <laughs> Here is my Mother's Day card sewing project. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.